Number two says the record number of boat lifts, including the boat and its ten crew members, was achieved by Sammy Hinnanen something and Jehu, Je, Juha, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last name, of Sweden in 2000. They lifted a total mass of 653.2 kilograms, approximately four inches off the ground, a total of 24 times. Estimate the total mechanical work done by the two men in lifting the boat 24 times. Assume they applied the same force to the boat during each lift. Neglect any work they may have done allowing the boat to drop back to the ground. So we know that work equals um, force times the distance, or we could say change of y in this case, lifting up setting down, whatever. So force times distance, or displacement, um, in, in distance, because for, uh, I, the way I understand it, work is not a vector quantity, so um, I don't think it matters if we call it distance or displacement. Um, so force times distance is work, and we know that we have a force, um, so our, our force equals mass times acceleration, and our, our mass was um, our mass was 653.2 kilograms and we had an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared um, downward so that was the the force had to be equal to or greater than the multiplication of this in order to lift it up and it says that they did that a total of they they did the the distance they moved it was four inches so we're gonna have to convert that back to meters um, and they did at times 24 different times that they did it so let's go ahead and, and solve for um, so what we need is work equals mass times acceleration times distance and then we know that the um, the distance so we we can put all of this stuff in so work equals 653.2 times 9.8 um, times the the distance of and we'll, we'll let's go ahead and move over here so four inches over one I'm going to multiply that by uh, one um, 2.52 centimeters per inch for one inch and that'll cancel out our inches then we're going to times that by um, one meter for every 1,000 centimeter, or I'm sorry, I said 1,000 for every 100 centimeters. And so that will cancel out our centimeters. And we can just do 4 times 2.5, which is, um, that's going to be 10 uh, centimeters. And then we can divide it by 1,000 and times that by 1, we're going to get 10 meters over 1,000. Uh, and then that's going to equal 100, I'm sorry. Not 100, 0 0.1. My, I don't know where my brain is. 0 0.1 meters. So we, our change of distance for tw uh, for one lift of four inches is 0 0.1 meters. And we did that 24 times, and so you're going to get um, 2.4 meters of total movement. So we can go back here and say times this by 2.4 meters, and then you can. So you multiply all of that out, and you get that the work equals 1,000, uh, 15,363.26 uh, joules. So that's the answer, and hope it helps.